Well, hello, YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you an interesting uh, Bigfoot, the MH24 Class C motorhome. And I believe this was the last year they made them. Is it 2007? Seven. Some there were a couple of others made in the eight, but that was absolutely oh a handful last made in 08. But this is pretty much the last big batch of the Bigfoot Class Cs. So any, anyway, I'm inside uh, Hillary's unit here. I've never put a video up of uh, her unit yet, so I figured uh, I would do that since she's moving down the road today. Anyway, uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It's got the cockpit there, big entertainment center and lots of storage up in the front in lieu of the uh, bed that would normally be there. And the uh, dinette seating area where this stinky little pooper is sitting. <laughs> Aren't you? Are you being mischievous? <laughs> and the uh, kitchen area, I like how it's uh, a V shape. It's very nice, it's more efficient, it gives you a little more space. And the rear bed. So the, of course the way this is configured, it's basically a two person unit. And uh, over here in the galley, got the typical Dometic two door. And a nice size double door. Um, wardrobe which is uh, infinitely bigger than what I have in my class C which is only about 14 inches shorter and going into the washroom got a nice fiberglass enclosure and, uh, and the squeegee it's, door oh yeah the squeegee door yeah. it's actually a fair sized bathroom for the uh, size of the unit so I kind of like that now uh, there's a couple features I like about this unit I love the the skylight which of course has a shade that's a nice touch that virtually every RV should have so you can get natural light inside the unit and I'm gonna go outside and show you a few other features that I like about this unit now this unit is on the e450 Ford platform with a diesel motor so uh, fuel economy is quite exquisite uh, I've been told by Hillary and uh, for you long-term followers you may remember her from uh, coming down to RTR now on the exterior you'll also notice there's a lot of storage space all the way around due to the extra height of this unit providing a lot more than a typical Class C model would offer now another thing because this is a, a diesel platform the onboard generator does run off of uh, propane. Now Hillary has upgraded her hot water heater to the uh, Truma, which is a uh, nice instant on, unlimited hot water. So when you're plugged into, you know, fresh water in an RV uh, facility, it's nice to be able to have a 15 minute shower rather than just a seven minute shower if you want. So that's not stock, but nice upgrade. When my hot water heater fails, I'll consider getting one too. Now another thing you'll notice about this unit is it's quite tall. It's also got the uh, um, the uh, airbag ride, so you can raise and lower it. But it's a much, much higher ride than a typical Class C is. At least I've noticed that while I'm sitting in there. And um, you know, the, the build quality is quite nice on these Bigfoots. And there's talk about reintroducing them. In building them again I think the market for them must have gotten soft with the recession and uh, the price point of building them so anyway that's my thought on the Bigfoot 24 MH keep your wheels in the ground folks talk to you soon bye bye